60.5 degree water. Same as yesterday. Exactly the same as yesterday. Okay, Bob catches the first green scourge. That was what was killing us at the last spot. All you have to do is check your leader. If it's all tore up, you know the fish that you're getting are green scourge. First fish at the jetties. We've been out here for hula. How long? An hour? And Bob's finally got something. And it's substantial. It's only, what, 10 o'clock when we finally caught a fish. <laughs> Is it a sheephead? It's acting sheepheadish. Ooh, man. Yep. There it is, seven stripe of jetty snapper. At the jetties. There's there's one left. Ah. Now that is the size that you should be catching, not those little romper room ones yeah. that we caught caught yesterday. That's what should be happening out here. Instead of just one, we should have numerous. Right in the corner of the mouth. All right. Now we can truly see how big he is. That's a decent one. Okay, 10 o'clock in the morning. first real fish instead of a fake fish which is the scourge but people don't know when we say the scourge we're talking about dinky little shithead bluefish that we despise I just had one on folks the biggest fish I've had on in two days and he just got off son of a I looked at Bob, I looked back, and my float was gone. Son of a It was pretty big, too, and I don't even know what the hell it was. Damn. Ugh. He's got my fish. He's got my fish. <laughs> All right, let me get out of the way. And get the net. Shithead or redfish? I thought mine was kind of a redfish. All right. There you go, Bob. Oh, yeah. What's this acting like? Acting like Mr. Redfish? Pretty hard. Yeah. All right. Oh, nah. He's, yep. Redfish. That's what I just thought I had. It's a red. Big old red. Back in the saddle again. I mean, we used to come over here, folks, and absolutely tear these reds up. I got videos with Bob where we were catching redfish, trout, and flounder. No, redfish, trout, and sheep's head over here, left and right. And now we're finally doing it here. We're having an anomaly of current on a fallen tide here. We usually don't get the current that we're experiencing 
on a falling tide over here right now, but we are, and we're getting lucky. It's going to take a little bit. This ain't straight to the boat kind of fish. Yeah, now. Who let them dogs out, Bob? Dave. No, Bob did. Bob let the dog out. Bob let the dog out. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Finally. Bob let the dogs out. Mm, mm, mm. Well, it's not going to be a keeper. We know that. We don't ever get keepers, but we used to get keepers over here. This is the only time I ever did get keepers was over here in the spring and the winter. Might have to get back to you folks. This might, this might take a little while. Brutus T. Red Bass. He's a junkyard dog. Come on, Brutus. Get on in here. Well, go around, Bob, if you have to. Bob's getting drug around the back of the boat. Well, now he's going to the other side. Wow. See, this is what we really come out here for. None of this pussy footing around with 12-inch yellow mouth up in the damn river. Bob's put these big old giant king mackerel in the boat. In his boat, not my boat. <laughs> you have to fight them nice and easy too. Damn, Bob. Come on, man. Your 48 pound king has to fight. Oh, yeah. Mostly it's three long, 300 yards of line. And that's it, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. This is one of them. Dave, you get a, you better get a bigger net. Look, he just did the tail flip on you. He's trying to get away. Come on, Brutus. We're going to let you go. He just doesn't know it. Come here, you old junkyard dog. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. No. Come here, head. Bring your head back around here. Oh, 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 I can't. There's the head. Ah! Dave, you need a bigger net. Oh, I'd call that a bull. That's a bull red. That's in bull red fish category right there, folks. That's a bull red. That ain't just a red. That's a bull red. I didn't think he was that big, Bob. There, let me have... Let me need your pliers. That's a bull redfish. Right in the lip. Woo, look at that. Okay, I haven't had to get this thing out in a while. All right, Bob. Whoa, come on, bull redfish. He's, he's just that pre-bull. He's pre, -bull. he's pre pre bullish. <laughs> Time to get a picture. Is that is that what it says? Sixteen? Seventeen. Seventeen, yeah. Okay. Give me a cradle him. Alright. Okay, let's turbo matic. It don't matter how much he how long he is we just go by pounds i got a scourge duty duty i got a scourge you can hang a bluefish like this off the end of your rod for the next two hours and they'll never stop moving saltwater piranha mm, 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 mm. come on saltwater piranha bob's got another one on he's got another one Let me get out of the way. He's got a pole bender. Oh, that one's heading for Lake Atlantic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
That's a beyond let the dogs out right there. <laughs> he's going, he's, he's heading to Europe. He's heading to Europe. Woo! It's like a King Macaralis. <laughs> Damn, Bob. You're in for it now. Oh yeah, that's going to be a Brutus T red bass. He's, he's out there by that damn bird out there. Oh, yeah. Hey, and the first time we're seeing sun all day long. Isn't that interesting? Bob's having to chase him around the bow of the boat. Got to keep him away from the anchor line. Oh, okay, now he's turning. Yeah, Bob's having to go around the boat. This one ain't going to fit in my net. This one I'm going to put on the pole and hold them over the side. Let me get the pole out. Oh, he might be the same as the other one. He might be the same size. He's just full of more spit and vinegar. It's maybe the same size. Oh yeah, let him go if he wants to go. I think he burned himself out. Oh yeah, he's burning himself out. Oh, he just saw the net. He's diving to the bottom. Ah! I don't know if he's as big as the other one, Bob. He has twice the, the spit and vinegar, though. I don't think he's as big as the other one. 14? 14. That's what I was thinking. Okay, hold him up again. I'll take a picture for you. All right, let me get one. Boy, he's not even as big as the other one, and he fought twice as hard. All right, come on, Mr. Red, come on. Trying to resuscitate him on the big pole here. Come on. Man, what a fight. And he wasn't even as big as the other one. All right. There he goes. People want to know why I turbo him. It's to get him down. You want to get him down into a different pressure zone and run that water across the top of their face. Isn't that how you release kings? Yeah. Yeah, you turbo them right into water? Kingfish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the pliers. Wasn't it? Yeah. I'm sure it was. Let's they... see that. That's, that's, that's the ultimate in the circle hook, Bob. That's called the no hook em. <laughs> That's the, the no, no hook, hook em. Circle. Okay, well, You're let me, circle. yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, that's how I've always let go the big reds to get them down and to, uh, I do it on king mackerel also, gets them down and gets them swimming. All right, let me get Bob a new hook.